My expectations from the 3 p planning process this week is really around staff engagement. It isn't really about just building a building, it's about developing new processes. What are your big goals? What sort of things do you think are monuments? And that means, you know, what are we stuck with? We want to come up with a design that can change, you know, as technology changes or as your population changes whatever those requirements might be. One of the things that we talked about was let's bring feedback from the patients into the 3P event. And there was a lot of feedback about how positively they felt about the staff in the environment. In the traditional process, we often meet with administrators or higher level people to develop plans. With this process, we got to meet with at least one representative of every user group within the space. And we got to hear firsthand how they described what they do, where they need to be, and it just made it so much easier to place them in their ideal space. The Turlock MOV is designed that way. Oh, is it? And the doctors love it, which really? shocked me. Because there's about no the natural daylight. We are transforming the way we build buildings. This brought all the groups in, and I thought it was very important. You get all of the decision makers together, and you really hash out what the design problem is. It seemed like it would be nice if you had a central spot where you had your staff, your nurses, and your MAs. It's an older space, clearly not efficient for the workflow that exists today. What works, what doesn't, not just what works, but how do you feel? I'm coming your way. Okay. One, two, three. I love that we've been able to build exactly what the rooms and the environment is going to look like. Within a couple hours, we were able to walk into the different areas. I was very impressed. The main benefit from our open house on uh, Wednesday evening was an opportunity to demonstrate a new process in planning and design of medical facilities. They were happy to come and give us their input and be involved. There was a lot of pride that was shared among everybody. It really told me that we're on the right track. Everyone take your places and roll up. Hi, come on up. Hi, I'm Hi. Alberta. How can I help you? The purpose of the simulations are to discover what works and what doesn't work in a space. Come on in. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. And I have seen that play out in each one of the simulations. We have improved on each environment. Yes, okay, so welcome to have a seat. I'm going to listen to your heart. Okay. Oh, it sounds good. It's been uh, phenomenal having the architect on the team. They're helping us to think outside of the box, so to speak. And we'll get you signed up on Look at things from a different um, perspective. Our process was we would develop a list of things that we thought were awesome and another list of things that we thought we should try. It looked crowded. Yeah, yeah everyone was in the little corner. Patients and the staff really saw where we could make big changes. By the time we got to Thursday, our list of awesome was much larger. The patients could see the changes. Room size. You felt comfortable for three people. Helping us to stay focused on the patient. It's been pretty amazing. To watch how much thought goes into this and how much they really care about delivering the best possible environment to their patients. Glad to be able to have a voice on a, a, a staff side. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I would do it again in a heartbeat. It was an amazing experience, and I really think Setter for giving us the opportunity to be involved with this. It was just incredible. Thank you. As an architect, knowing that the thing that we are delivering at the end of the day is actually the thing that the staff needs 
and matches perfectly to their workflow and supports what they do every day. There's no better satisfaction. It's replaced endless meetings. I'm hoping that in the future, by putting in my suggestions, we can make a happier experience for chemo patients. This has really transformed the way that we design large building projects. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank my friends from Boulder. It really got me charged for doing this for this building. And I hope this lays the groundwork for the future, you know, because I think it's a great process. So thank all of you. I want to thank you.